is a long shot. It is any shot that includes a full human body or a more uh, is called a long shot. Otherwise, uh, it is LS. So, the camera view uh, views a subject or a scene from a distance showing a broader perspective. So, the viewer gets a more specific idea of a setting. Uh, in the long shot, an object or character appears relatively small in the frame such as a person standing in a crowd or a horse in a vast landscape. The long shot is also called wide angle shot. Uh, a shot that includes just the person from head to toe is alternatively called a full body shot or a full shot. So, the last one is of the cinematography of the shot is extreme long shot. So, extreme long shots frame the subject very much in the background and both the actor and the setting have almost equal importance. In uh, such a shot is, uh, uh, if sh such a shot is used to highlight the location for the scene, uh, uh, it is also called establishment shot where the frame is dominated by a landscape or a setting in which the object uh, is barely visible and they are also known as uh, geography shots. So this uh, that is a shot in which the subject is exceptionally far away from the camera is called an extreme long shot that is ELS. It can be used at the beginning of the scene to establish general location called as you know extreme long shot or establishment shot. Uh, if it is taken from a high point like the top of the building, a hilltop of a mountain peak is called an aerial or a bird's eye view shot. This is extreme long shot. This is establishment shot where uh, the frame is dominated by a landscape or a setting in which the object or even actor is barely visible. So, this is known as establishment shot. So, shot uh, is uh, is the basic building unit of a video production. It conveys necessary pieces of information such as you know, different aspects of a setting, character and theme. It also helps to create an atmosphere. So, shots are of various types based on the distance from the object and the angle through which the camera captures the visual. In determine, it, determining the shot, the concept of distance or nearness is important. See, on the basis of distance between uh, camera and object, uh, the shots are that is uh, the shots are called or they are designed. And we know these uh, shots they have a subjective or objective value. The subjective uh, is you no. Know, um, the, the closer the shot, the more subjective its value is and the more uh, the meaning inscribed in the shot. On the other hand, the longer the distance of the shot, the more objective is its value. So, therefore, it is better to speak of uh, shots as being more or less that is open or closed to a reading by the viewer. That is, if the shot is, you know, uh, uh, closer so, close-up shot has a has a, actually a subjective meaning. So, it is opens uh, opens the reader for another close reading. For example, I'm moving on to the first shot. Yes, sir. this close 